Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, so, um, I went to Doku yesterday and I just ended up recording uh, Top 8. I was gonna record my games, but I don't know, I just, I was, uh, I don't know why I just didn't record and never record my games. I just missed out, I came in like 10, because like it was like, uh, like it's top 8 kind of cut, feel like you gotta it's 5 rounds, and oh my god, it was like, my two like losses were to like, very like, oh my god, this is like, okay, so one loss was Guru, which is the Sandro, he just flips with that can only be one, I just, like, he just can't get rid of it, <laughs> and then, um, and then, uh, game 2, uh, what happens game 2, I can't remember, uh, I'm sure it was, uh, uh, I can't remember. Mm. I'm not sure, cause I know I ended up losing cause of time. I I oh yeah, cause the time was called. But I but it, anyways, game one was just like just there can only be one. I can't get rid of it. Okay. And then game two. Uh, oh yeah, no, I think it was game three. We're going to take game three, right? Yeah, yeah game three. Um, I won game two because I was like I won first and then the, yeah, and then uh, game 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 three. Uh, he, uh, I end up uh, like trying. I play through all of his back because he opens directly on B one, um, judgment, strike, fiendish, like the whole thing, right? So I end up trying to like, try, try, try like I'll play him, and I was like, okay, well, uh, I sequence out his turn, like, cause you kind of have to do that, cause like you know times like like a thing, so you have to like sequence out what the, the possibilities that like they're gonna do on their turn, right? Um. And uh, I had everything accounted for, but then I we ended up forgetting that uh, his fiendish was I called to give his fiendish, and 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 it carries over to the next turn. But we forget that it was it, we forget that it was like carried over. So he ends up using it. He negates my rage to to prevent the the ro the roar, um, the rage uh, from popping. Is there can only be one? I was wait. You can't, and then that lost us a, like a, a, a few times to like to like figure it out, and then by that time it was like time was like thirty seconds or something like that. But if if that was like if if that was like, oh, I was so annoyed, like I was like if that didn't go like if that little issue didn't occur, I, I would have had game, and then, yeah, that would have been a totally different story. But I guess it's what I was gonna pay attention. Um, but yeah, and so this is gonna be uh, you're gonna be watching Daniel and Josh. Um, this is a uh, top eight. It's uh, Orcus versus Sky Striker. I, I really like how like Ibli is cool because it plays around Nibiru. Like um, and Josh has mentioned, like oh you can play this in salad. Can you just make a bailing with it and then just you know? But then it I don't know. It just seems like you, you're normal. You, like if, you, if you're not normal something Buffalo or Foxy, it's like you're gonna be using. I mean you have to have Gazelle. If you don't have Gazelle, then it's like. I guess at that point you do need to have like backup secretary or spinny or another uh, uh, way to make a level like a rank three. Like I can see how it can be applicable because like it's good. It plays around Nibiru, and that's like a, one of the big issues with Salomon Great. Like playing around Nibiru, like it's kind of hard to unless you open Will, uh, and then even then, like if you don't open up the traps, and if you already use your real link, it's gonna be really awkward. So like I guess I can see the some um, some logic explanation for it like Ibli give them the thing you know but then like they can use that to to for link material you know so it's like you think to yourself is it worth giving them material but then it, 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 it seems like it, it's is worth it to just not get any period but like I don't know it just seems like it it can be tested a little longer so so you can kind of kind of kind of kind of like. Um, give it a bit, a bit, a bit more synergy than just having it to normal summon and give it to them, and that's it. Like you, you gotta have a little bit more um, versatility with it, because if they, if you summon it, they something happens to it. Okay, you just loot. Because <laughs> like you can't, like it's not a solid card. You can't trigger Gazelle off of it. You can't. You know, so I was like, it's kind of, it's kind of weird sometimes. Oh man. Desires. <laughs> it's like with Sky Strike is like that's one of like the main things you just get like I guess you you you, you, you contemplate. Desires, not desires. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people, you get rid of your anchors, you get rid of your multi roll like But sometimes you just need to like dig. Like you just need to have like 
This is the same reason why Solid plays it. Like, you just need to be able to have that extra interaction. Otherwise, if you don't open up any interaction, you just need to lose. Like, that's, that's the whole point. Because, like, if they stop your gazelle, then that means you can't get to your trap. Because most standard of builds play just one and one of the trap. So, like, if they if they stop your gazelle from sending, that means you're not going to have any interaction unless you open, like, hand traps. But then, what if you don't open up a hand trap? So, that's what Desire is for. Just helps you dig. When you when you just wouldn't be able to, which is the same reason for Buffalo, just have to dig, dig. Dude, yesterday I did I I, I drew free. I, I, okay, I went Buffalo, I drew two, um, I drew desires, <laughs> and then and and then I made and then I exceeded to to the number sixty, the one that lets you draw two in this card one, and you skip your next draw phase. And then I was like, what the? Fu I, I filtered through my deck so much, it was freaking crazy. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like it's very um. I guess if you if you play, if you play, if you play meta, if you play against like like if you get like serious and like you actually like try to, try to understand every single deck, you can kind of. You can kind of um play against it much better than someone that just doesn't really care, and that's why it's like it's like oh. That, that's it can it can be a bit frustrating like you you hear people getting angry and like and like getting upset about over losing I'm like, but like if you don't understand if you don't put the effort into like, understand the deck then why are you complaining like, you, like of course you can complain but like it's it's a bit like like really like you you don't want to put the effort in to learn the deck to learn the other deck and then you're getting upset when you use your interaction at the wrong time that just makes that makes no sense Literally, it just makes no sense. What was that in his hand? Is that an, no, is that an Ibli? Oh, it's not an Ibli. Oh, it's good. It's really good against Stress Tracker. You just give him a, you give him a, a body in the main monster zone. So it shuts down everything. So it, it, this is a really odd. This is really odd. Wow. <laughs> okay, so now he's gonna force the Ibli. Is he not gonna give him the Ibli? Oh, he is gonna give him the Ibli. Oh no, he didn't. He just shot kind of it. Oh, but he hit the fusion. <laughs> That's rough. But it, I don't know. Just oh wow. Oh, bluff city, bluff city. Oh, this glare. This glare is kind of quite annoying. It doesn't seem that like Orcus is uh very threatening, right? Like it's like you know what it okay, you know what it does. It gives you like grave setup, it gives you that the counter for sure. The protection from destruction, but like I don't know, I just never really like felt like that was that oppressive. It was like it's not it's like it's it's, it's manageable. Like if they have like another thing on top of that, then it could be like okay, it's a bit annoying. But it's just like a, a, a thing greasy that protects you from destruction and a uh, crescendo. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's that... I mean, I guess it's consistent, I mean, that, that wins overall, right? If it can do something consistently and it's decent, I guess it can rule, rule the meta. Like, the ceiling might not be high, right? The ceiling isn't high, you, you know what you get, you know what you're expecting. And that's where, I, I think that's where a lot of people just need to learn. Um, how to play it against play against the bunch better because sometimes it's like like here's an example right like they go mermaid they discard a harp and they they ash or valor it like why like there's no point of doing that like here's another like it's just wait for the actual trap like you can deal with bodies like the one thing you you you're, you're just annoyed with is the counter trap or the or the babble just wait for the babble or just wait for that you, a max is gonna have two three bodies right that, okay that's fine but with no interaction like I don't know just it's better to just hold your interaction. People just don't understand that, and it's already in this like for quite some few months already. 
<laughs> you get allergic to like if 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 you can't like if you can deal with the if you can deal with like just the one count trap or whatever then i guess you have to take your choice like okay, okay can you clear bodies or can you deal with one ha one back row and then that's where you have to like okay you know cuz like since i played through fell the that counter trap alone is not really an issue so i just like if like sometimes i just don't even bother so then I, cuz i could just freeze it and force it with uh with foul could go fox fox the effect chain foul and they're either gonna have to negate the foul in hand and then use it right okay that's fine and i'll, I'll just keep the ash or, or, the, or the impermanence in my hand like you know like it's just and then just have it have it for the following turn when the the the, the crescent is gone you know because that's when they actually try to make a push and then to, to send your stuff and then you save it for that <laughs> mm. Just trying to think of what y'all is just thinking about. Does he not have Ray? Oh, he does have Ray. Oh, mother is the oh. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, let's 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 try and go for um. Let me speed this up. Okay, game two. Here's game two. Yeah, cause I'm pretty sure da Daniel beat Josh in Swiss rounds. I'm pretty sure. Daniel's going first. Hmm. I don't know. It seems like you, you can you, you can go second with against against Orcus. Cause like right away you already know that like or Orcus are gonna put in a back row hate, and you just like. Yeah, and they can OTK, they can OTK you. It's like well, well, I don't see why you would want to go first. Cause you have jamming waves on your side. You have afterburners. You have widow anchors. You can take their stuff. I know, but some, some of this paranoia just gets to you. Like, it makes you do weird plays when you're just paranoid and you overthink things. Interesting. He's banishing the drones. I mean, I guess that's some. There's some logic to that. It makes him invest more cards in his hand that he shouldn't want. He wouldn't want to. Like he doesn't want a normal summon, so he wants to just go Phoenix pop, and he still has his normal summon. Whereas this is forcing him to use his normal summon. But he has the other cosmic, so. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah. So like, if he if he didn't hit, if he didn't cosmic the horn drones, he would just got it back, gone Phoenix. But now he uses normal summon, and if he didn't have cosmic, the harp would be engraved by now, and then he just he'll just and he'll just um banish it with, with cannon. Why are you laughing? Watch me rip the. I know, but that's, that, that's a bit odd though, because at, at that point he has two cards engraved. If they, if they didn't have cannon, he would have. The discard outlet for Phoenix and the ho the horror that you normally summon. Show you the card, I yeah, that's fine. 
Yeah, so that means he would have one less card in his hand right now. Like, he wouldn't have one of the cards. He would just have, like, he would have Babel still. Assuming what the other card is. That's a bit odd. I don't know. It's Phantasme and Sky Striker. Like, it's niche because it's unexpected. Like, but, like, what do you want to draw into? You can't use you know, hand traps? Like, and I saw the, I saw his deck when he laid it out after the event. Like, he didn't really run that much hand press. So I was like, what are you drawing into? Like, you don't need the body. Like, you don't need to. Like, you just, just, just ruins it for you. Like, you, you just... It puts you in awkward scenarios. Like, there's no point in... I don't know. I just don't see you. Because, like, by then, you might as well just play, like... Uh, play, um... Nibiru, main deck Nibiru, because that get to deal with the problem instead of like summoning a Nibiru, summoning a, a Phantasme, hoping to draw a hand trap, stopping them, where you can just like have Nibiru there, boof, and you don't have to be playing all those hand traps. Yeah, this is the this is the fear right here because you can. Yeah. I don't know. It's a bit odd. I mean, strike. I don't. I don't know. Like. So I don't know. I think you should let him let, let him go on, go on, go on, go on first. And then just try to break his board. Because you play cosmic. That's like get rid of the crescendo. That's one spell, right? You know, don't only banish it. Window. <laughs> He's reading it to see if he can use it, <laughs> but he controls a he controls a uh, an extra deck monster. Where's the dragon? Unless he goes. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, I just flexed on him because I got this. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. But I think he's on the scoop. Yeah, nice. Look at his deck. Look at Daddy. What are you doing, Daddy, man? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're just gonna scoop. I was like, my hand was like, okay. And then I'm like, at least he said, do I go for it? Yeah, I'll go for it. So I got the return for the draw, too. And he's like, well, I'm gonna I mean, if you really want to, he could just go uh, foolish uh, dragon, monster for dragon, and then shallow fusion. <laughs> go for the window. Oh, that's gonna be it. Oh, dude, oh, that's being crazy. Yeah, let's top it. Um, I got a few more matches to get a post up. Uh, if you guys like this this style, I mean, just commenting over the videos, just, just let me know. Drop a like and uh, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get the top this time, but I'll make sure I'll top next time. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's gonna be it. Hopefully, enjoy the video, like, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for watching. The fuck is this? What? <laughs> Oh, in the right. Oh, it's still gone, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's still gone. I banished my walkie talkie. Uh, I'll probably boost it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I banished the one I could. I didn't banish the one I could summon. I banished the other two. Oh, as long as he makes the dark oh, one, man. that's all that matters. Can you sort that? What are you making? Is it target? Oh, yeah. It targets. So I just negate it. Make cluster. What? With what? If you've sword, um, attacked and says Thanos. Yeah. Huh? Would you stand? Drag. Yeah. Good <laughs> base. I can summon once, right? <laughs> yeah, so you can bring the ray back, but you can't. I can't tag out. Uh, I'll not even bother. I'll whip it out. Don't even bother putting out the ray. Jump 7k. I legitimately was saying The only reason I went for the return is that if it didn't stick, I had Babel anyway, so I could actually like still interact with you. I drew it off Phantasme. Oh, true. Oh, so I wouldn't do shit.